Hey guys, it's Luke here, and I wanted to show you a trick for when you're running electrical in a shop where you know you're gonna be needing a lot of power. So we ran our power in such a way that the left outlet is actually on a different circuit than the right outlet, but we still only had to run one wire to it. So this is purple Romex. Uh, they started color coding them, and the purple one now means that it's 12-3. And 12-3 means that you have three conductors. We've got a red, white, and black, and then you also have, still have the ground. So this style wiring is what's called a network. So one outlet is gonna get the red wire for it's hot and the, and the neutral, and the other outlet's gonna get the black wire and the same neutral. So they're gonna share that neutral. Then over in the panel, we're gonna wire the red and black wires to a dual pole breaker. So that if one gets tripped, it'll force the other to get tripped as well. Now this might look like we have 220 over there, which we do if we took power between the red and the black but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna wire one outlet to the red and one to the black, and they're both gonna get that same neutral. Because the power going to each outlet is 180 degrees out of phase from each other, the power returning on that neutral will actually get canceled out. So if you have the exact same draw on each outlet, the neutral would in theory have no current returning on it because it would get completely canceled out. So now in this single outlet, we remove the little tab that connects the upper and lower outlets and they're actually each on a separate circuit now. So what I really like about this is the fact that now I actually have two circuits in the same place because it's annoying when you, know, you overload a circuit here and now you have to be searching around to try to find one that's on a separate breaker to plug your stuff into so you don't end up blowing the breaker again. You do have to remember that if you're wiring this up, you need to be using a dual pole breaker so that if one gets tripped, the other gets tripped at the same time. For multiple reasons, but one of the reasons is if you come up and you check this outlet and it doesn't have power, you know that both sides don't have power and you're not gonna get tricked into thinking it's off and open it up and still get shocked. All right, well, we're gonna get back to it. See you guys next time.